How's it going guys? My name is Jake Fogg and welcome back to episode number 18 of my Football Manager 2020 journey here today with Leeds United and in today's episode we've got quite, got quite a big one. We've actually got a FA Cup semi-final uh, match against Liverpool at Wembley. I'll get a little bit more into that um, in a few minutes on into this video. I'll kind of talk you through what happened and how we got where we were but we are actually starting today on the profile of Tamba Samura, a player who's just come through our youth intake Born in Chesterfield, other nationality, Sierra Leone, which is uh, quite interesting to be fair. And um, well, he's not fantastic. He he was the pick of the bunch in at this year's youth intake. As you can see, three and a half star potential, which I think is, um, oh, it doesn't really say, but I think that's about what a Premier League quality player. Yeah, if you have a look at Ethan Ampadu, he's currently classed as a three and a half star player. So, I mean, if he could get to this kind of level, that wouldn't be too bad. But I don't really think he'll ever get much of an opportunity in the youth team. Uh, in the youth team, in our senior team, the same goes for Josh Morgan, the other um, the other main person that came through. Another centre-back as well. Again, he doesn't look terrible. He's got all right potential, but unambitious personality. I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Obviously, I can try and mentor it out of him. But, yeah, I don't think they'll make much headway apart from that. I mean, there wasn't really anyone of interest. I think Kyle Offs was another one that came through. Again, unambitious. Got some decent attributes. But you can just see here, in our under-18s, we don't really have many players uh, that are going to quite reach uh, the level required of them. Anyway, on to our little runner to the semi-final of the FA Cup. And it's safe to say we have been lucky. Obviously, you've already seen we beat Wimbledon in the third round at League One side. And then we beat Sunderland 1-0 in the fourth round, a championship side. And we drew West Ham at home, another championship side. And, uh, well, we, we dispatched of them relatively comfortably. Look at that. The game was never really in much doubt. I played a, a pretty, pretty much a full strength team. Um, and yeah, we, we played very, very well. Got a 2-1 victory, which, I mean, it's not the best win, but they all count. And then even more fortunate after that, we had Preston at home, a League One side. And I mean, just look at this. <laughs> Those stats are ridiculous. 33 shots to three, 17 on target to two. I'm actually, I'm interested to see... Um, how many clear-cut chances we actually had. We didn't have a single clear-cut chance in this game. Oh, wow, 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 wow. 33 attempts, <laughs> not a single <laughs> not a single clear-cut chance. But, yeah, we got a little bit lucky, but our luck has run out as we are playing Liverpool in the uh, in the, <laughs> in the semi-final at Wembley, who, to be fair, we I'll show you very quickly. Uh, I'm not going to talk you through... I'm not going to go through all the highlights of the games because there's been a few and we'll be here for a while. But obviously, the last time you saw me, um, I was closing in on that seventh place. I was looking like European football was possible and yeah, we this has been our run of form. <laughs> A lot of goals. We've scored plenty, but we've also conceded plenty as well. <clears throat> so first off, two old draw uh, away at Everton. You know, they're pretty much level with us in the league, but then the disappointing one <clears throat> really in this run of fixtures was three four at home or four three loss at home. <clears throat> Pardon me. Four three loss at home to Aston Villa with Ethan Ampadu getting sent off in the 64th minute really kind of put the nail in the coffin it was pretty neck and neck and then yeah losing a centre-back going a man down never ideal and Aston Villa took advantage however Alejandro Irabaran did uh, he came on made his first Premier League appearance for us and he did actually manage to bag himself a goal on his Premier League debut which I'll just quickly show you now it wasn't the uh, it wasn't a bad goal to be fair to I think he Picked it up on the edge of the box and banged it in the uh, banged it in the top corner. It wasn't the edge of the box; it was about twelve yards out. But really nice first time finish into the top corner. But unfortunately, Aston Villa did get a ninetieth minute winner thanks to Courtney House. And then after that, we actually um, played Arsenal at home, drew to all. Not a bad little result at all. If it doesn't keep resetting uh, where I'm looking at the at the fixtures, you can see we we matched them pretty well, and they actually got a 94th minute equaliser, which was pretty heartbreaking. But very very pleased with how we played. Then after that, we went away to Liverpool and lost 5-4. We were actually three 0 down in this game. We managed to. In fact, we managed to take the lead. Did we take... No, we didn't. We brought it back to 3-all. Curtis Jones gave them the lead. Montagne equalised in the 86th minute. And then in the 97th minute, Bobby Firmino got Liverpool's winner, which was... It was heartbreaking, but a very good performance from us. And then finally, we got back 
uh, got right back on the horse and absolutely dispatched of Brighton 4-0. Matty, Matty Bogus with a 9, um, 9.0 rating, 7 key passes and a goal for him. montagne has been back in the goals. He's coming along really nicely as well. Five goals in his last five games after a little bit of a spell, I think, where he, I mean, he wasn't scoring many. You can see his goals have been... They've been a little bit, little bit sporadic from like from here to here, you know, just one goal, and then, um, well, in fact, in his last six games, he's managed to get himself six goals, so he's getting back in form. So today we have got, if I just bring back all of the fixtures, I believe we've got um, Liverpool. It's not showing me the FA Cup. I've got, <laughs> I've got everything's going wrong. We've got Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-final, obviously at Wembley today, and then following up, we have got Sheffield United away. And in terms of the Premier League standings, the league is gone. Well, the league, not the league is gone. Well, the league was gone already. I mean, look how far ahead Liverpool are. That's ridiculous. But any hopes of Europe, I mean, we're going to have to do really, really well. We're going to have to win out our remaining games to even stand a chance. But still, Spurs are 10 points ahead of us. We do have a game in hand over them. But yeah, I think the gap is too much. And if you look at some of the teams we've still got left to play, we've still got to play Man United and Chelsea away, which is not going to be ideal. Um, but yeah, the FA Cup semi-final against Liverpool... Uh, let's just get forward to that. It's going to be a tough one. We've got a lot of players missing. I'll show you. We've had we've had some problems with injuries, and oh, it's not it's not been going well at all. As we uh, just wait here for us to eventually get to the game. So plenty of fixtures still to go. There we go. Leeds United versus Liverpool at Wembley. You can see so far this season, one win for us. One win for Liverpool. Liverpool are on one five on the bounce. Our form is inconsistent. That is, uh, that's definitely one way to put it. But as you can see, Eric Garcia is suspended, and then our two starting wingers, Helder Costa and Galeno, both injured. Galeno's out pretty much for the rest of the season. I think, yeah, five to eight weeks. Uh, Helder Costa, I think he's out for a little bit less time, eight days to three weeks. So he'll be back for the end of the season. Uh, but yeah, he is not. This is not looking great. Uh, Eric Garcia is suspended. So, <laughs> Raffin to start with McKinstry, who, to be fair to him, he has come on leaps and bounds. He is turning into a very, very nice little player. Uh, he's been getting some more minutes as of late. So, he just keeps getting better and better and better. So, I'm really, really, really pleased with how he's developing. And then Jordan Stevens, my favourite, out on the right-hand side. His potential is coming down a little bit. But he's played plenty this season for us. He's not done too bad either. You know, he's slowly improving. Still got four-star potential. Hopefully, he realises that potential and he will become a very, very solid Premier League player. But apart from that, I think this is the side that I'm going to be sticking with today. So it's Kassir in goal, Cooper and Ampadu at the back with Phillips just in front of them. Alfonso Davies at left wing back, Dallas right wing back, Bogus and Alenia in the middle, McKinstry on the left, Stevens on the right and Montagna up top on his own as the uh, pressing forward. And oh, I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, we did really, really well against Liverpool in the league game. Um, but I mean, we didn't. Oh, shit. I expect you to come back after the match. I did not want to press that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That is <laughs> what a great team talk. I've bought up the team talk. But yeah, we, we've done well against Liverpool in the league. You know, 5-4, lost to them. I mean, it was a very exciting game as Mo Salah's already put them 1-0 up. And obviously, we did actually manage to beat them early on in the season as well. We beat them 3-1 at home. But uh, this was it's not the start that I really, really wanted. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. 10 minutes in and there is actually another highlight here we've got a throw in deep into the Liverpool half McKinstry on it now back to Davies can he uh, well he's weaving his way through across to Stevens. oh Stevens hit the post Stevens has hit the far post oh that was a great strike uh, and also um, hopefully over the next few days I will be uploading videos three days in a row so today tomorrow and Saturday if everything goes to plan so be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff so you don't miss out on them and Liverpool's got a penalty, Salah steps up, and he Casilla goes the right way, but he just nestles it into that bottom corner, and uh, it is, it's not going well. This, I mean, this is kind of how, how I was expecting it to go, I'm going to demand a little bit more from them, I mean, we've not really, we've made a decent account of ourselves so far, we've just given them an easy goal and a penalty, and it's, it's just disappointing. So we're already 2-0 down just past the half hour mark, but Montagna on the ball now at the edge of the box. What can he do? He sends it miles, miles wide. Oh dear. The problem at the moment is our front three, ultimately, as much as I love them all, ultimately they are like it's like a championship quality front front three. Obviously, there's a lot of youth and potential there, but in terms of the current ability, 
they're not really good enough to be played in, a, uh, in an FA Cup semi-final. And like I said, we've really not done that bad. We've really, really not done that bad. Like, we're doing all right. We're making a very, very good account of ourselves. We're just... We're just not good enough, ultimately. And Liverpool just have that cutting edge, you know. There's a reason why they're about 20 points clear at the top of the Premier League. They're just so, so good. They've got some great players. Look, see here on the ball now. Can we build something bogus? Great ball out to find Stevens. Can he beat his man? Goes all the way back to Phillips in that deep line playmaker role. Forward to Bogus. Dallas on it now. Back to Phillips. Some really nice passing here. Ampadu. What can he do if it passes across to his centre-back partner, Liam Coop? That's a great ball out to Alfonso Davies. Cuts inside to McKinstry, but ugh, it's a poor ball. And Tenali nips in. And now Liverpool coming forward on the attack. Mertens on the ball. Switched out to Rigi, but Dallas is there. Stevens plays it back to Dallas. Across to Alenia. That's a great ball over the top to Montani. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Can he finish it? No, he cannot. Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that will go down as a mistake as Frimpong as it <laughs> that's a mistake for Frimpong what on earth has happened there that is I mean I, <laughs> I just don't have any words I think he's tried to pass it back to the keeper Montagna's still there and he's just <laughs> he's got an open goal he's not going to get an easier an easier goal than that Davies is having a poor poor game at left wing back and there's just 20 minutes left I'm going to go for it a little bit more. Let's make some... There's not really many changes that I want to make. I'll get McCalmont on for Alenia. But apart from that, I'm quite happy with the players that we have on the pitch. Obviously, we've lost a lot of players through injury. A lot of players... Well, uh, Garcia's out through suspension as well. Just switched to a little bit more attacking. So our our squad depth at the moment is running a little bit thin. But Stevens, can he finish? No, he cannot. Bogus! Bogus has scored! And Becker, what on earth have you done, Alisson? Oh my goodness, rooted to the spot. And the ball's just gone flying straight past him into the back of the net. And we've got ourselves right back into this game. It's 2 all with 10 minutes to go. And the question is, can we snatch a win? I don't, that was a horrendous goalkeeping. I mean, neither, we shouldn't have scored either of our goals so far. Oh my goodness. Five minutes left. Time is ticking away. Can we snatch it? Can we prevent it from going to extra time? Can we get ourselves a winner? Or will Liverpool get themselves a winner and prevent extra time? But that's a poor kick out to Davis. He's got a man in the middle. Can he beat his man? Go and gets the ball in. Dallas at the back post. It's blocked. And now Liverpool have a chance to counter. It's 3v3 pretty much. Finds Mertens and Alfonso Davis is going to be sent off. And I don't have a player that can play left back on the bench. Oh, God. Um, do I have... I've got to go... I'm going to have to... Question is here, who do I take off? Bogus has scored and he's doing. Uh, I'm going to have. I'm take, uh, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to take off Phillips, move Dallas to left back, get Gomez at right back. I'm going to switch these two to just full backs on support. I'm going to go to a more. Uh, full back on support, not automatic. And I'm going to go to a more balanced, um, more balanced setup. So we're about to head off into extra time. We've done so well. And then Alfonso Davies, what have you done? Oh, that could be the nail in the coffin. Oh, God. The question is, can we hold on for a half an hour of injury time? We do actually have a throw in here. Deep in there, half bogus. Plays the ball in. It's headed clear by Matip. And now Liverpool are looking to counter Cooper. Tackles Mertens, but Chamberlain finds Firmino in the middle. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Great save by Casilla. Tips it round for a corner. Cha Oxley Chamberlain couldn't quite keep it in. As yeah, we just need to. We just need to hold on here. Nothing too silly. I'm gonna. It's half, extra half time in extra time. Oh my goodness! Get McKinstry on that support duty. Get John Stevens on that support duty. Just pull pull the players back just a little bit. Oh, God. Can we make it to penalties? That is the big question. Will we be taking Liverpool all the way? Well, so far, Bogus on the free kick. He whips it in. McCall on it. Falls through nicely. Can't take down Bogus to McKinstry to Bogus. Can we snatch a late winner? McCallmont, Bogus, back to McCallmont, to Cooper. I don't like this at all. Just do something. McKinstry to Cooper. McCallmont got a little bit more space now. Back to Cooper. Dallas on this left-hand side. McKinstry. 
Oh, Gomez is pressuring him, but we're keeping the ball really, really well here. Just do not mess this up. McKinstry gets past Joe Gomez. Can he find a man in the middle? Goes back to Dallas. McCalmont on the edge of the box. McCalmont hits it. What a finish. That is Alfie McCalmont into the top corner from the edge of the box. And we lead Liverpool. Oh, my God. We lead them 3-2 in the FA Cup semi-final. Oh, my God. What a finish. That is from Alfie McCalmont right into the top corner. He just pulled that one out of the bag. I'm not going to change anything. We're playing so well. Time is ticking away. And we have done it. We have done it. Ten men lead United. We've beaten Liverpool 3-2 in extra time and we've reached the final of the FA Cup oh my god oh I definitely did not expect that I'm sorry I'm gonna have to watch this back again from McCallum I'm switching it to the TV TV highlights I'm gonna slow it down a little bit I just oh, I have to watch this goal again how good is that oh my goodness Dallas plays it to one edge of the box one touch turn and bang into that top corner and oh my god, we have done it. Even Alfonso Davies with a 5.6 getting himself sent off in the process. I mean, oh, he'll miss the final. Oh my god. Oh wow. From 2 0 down as well. From 2 0 down, we have done it. We have done it. And there's no chance I'm playing another game in today's episode. That is that is mental. Young Leech Knight shine against Liverpool. I mean, what was the average age of the what was the age of the players that started? Let's see. Ampadu, twenty years old. We got in there. Phillips is what twenty five now. Alfonso Davies, twenty years old. Bogus, nineteen years old. Alenia, twenty three years old. John Stevens, twenty one. McKinstry, eighteen. Montagne, eighteen. Alfie McCalmont, who scored the winner, twenty one years old. Gomez, who came off the bench, twenty one years old. It's a youthful side. And we have done the business. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. I can I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, my God. Who do we play in the final? It's unknown at the moment. We'll just skip on forward. We'll see who we're going to be playing in the final. As I'm just going to rest the players because we do have a game in a couple of days, which I was planning on showing you, but after that game that there's not a chance that that is going to get shown in this episode oh my god wow 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 come on let's um let's find out when the other fa cup semi-final is happening come on is it uh is it ever going to show me when is when is the other next fa cup match i think it was city against southampton now if southampton can get a win here we've got an unbelievable chance of doing it I'm not going to spoil it by looking at the drop-down scores. Uh, dear City have absolutely romped Southampton 4-1. And that is who we will be playing in the final. Manchester Leeds United versus Manchester City at Wembley. The final of the FA Cup in 2021. Oh, wow. Well, so, next episode, let's think about this. I'm probably going to do Chelsea and Wolves, you know, the last two games of the season. And then after that, we'll have the FA Cup final against Manchester City. So the Chelsea Wolves games will be out tomorrow. Then the FA Cup final I will bring out on Saturday, assuming everything goes to plan. Um, I would show a few more games towards the end of this season. But as you can see here, we're, we're going to have to do well to catch Tottenham. I mean, we win both our next two games that we've got in hand over Tottenham. That leaves us only five points behind them. However... We do still have Manchester City and Chelsea to play away from home. And then we've also got Wolves to play. It is not an easy running. So I think the last two games just to finish off the season and then the FA Cup final in a separate episode on its own. But anyway, that is where I'm going to finish off today's episode. And what an episode it has been. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please do be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And I'll catch you in the next episode.